my whole life it took me to get to where I am now because that's what it is it's an it's you, you devote your whole entire life to this and like some people will say it just happened overnight that's so fucking bullshit man because I've been practicing instruments and playing shows and doing gigs and busking for ever I used to busk and not go to school. I used to play open mic nights after school. I'd have my uniform in my bag, change the clothes, get my guitar, go to the venue, have a jam. Like you get three songs and like a meal if you're lucky. And then that's it. I used to print my little CDs off of my computer and just write on them for, sell them for five bucks. Or if you didn't have any money, you just have them for free. That's how it started, man. Like, I was like, fuck school, I hate this shit. And then I did have a few teachers that were encouraging about it. They could see this kid doesn't want to be in this classroom, is fucking disrupting everyone in here. Fair enough, I was a little shit. But, yeah, I wasn't meant to be there. I was meant to be here.
The song Gemini, I wrote that a really long time ago and um, I was in kind of like an in-between phase in my life where I didn't really know which way I wanted to go and I was just, I don't know if you've ever been literally completely 50-50 torn between something, but it's the biggest fucking head fuck ever because you just don't know if you should go that way or that way. So that's kind of makes me think about that. What's up? How's it going? So uh, it's, uh, it's a long way from where I'm from to be here today, so it's pretty fucking cool. So uh, the last time I played in Boston, which is actually only in February, was anyone there? It's kind of cool because it was, an, it was only like six months ago and I was doing venues like 200, 300, and then this one is kind of just growing a little bit, so thank you so much. Now last night, I'm gonna say this because this is what I do before I play. A little bit of a rundown of some house rules. It's just a pretty general one. Don't, don't be a dickhead. <laughs> this is uh, what you've entered into right now is the house of love and we like to keep it that way. And what I mean by that is, is you are welcome here from wherever you are from, whatever race that you are. Whatever gender that you are, if you're trans, or if you're gay, or if you're straight, or whatever you are, you can come here. Because that's how it should be, you know? Last night I had to break up these two little bitches at the front who were having a punch on with each other. I'm not doing that shit tonight, because I made her get on stage and apologize to two and a half thousand people. <laughs> She was forgiven, so we could move on. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Tash Sultana, and uh, I hope you enjoy this experience. Thank you, love you too. The song is called Gemini.
Tell now that your mother don't like me She only gonna know if I'm sorry oh, oh, oh. Playing by your child Don't show me that We're fathers gone But she's not gonna be around To watch me fall To the sweetest disposition Oh, Follow my intuition That's the game
So Murder to the Mind is a bit of a different composition because it's kind of the reverse order of how I would ever write a song. I bought a Nord keyboard because I just kept having these visions that I needed to have one. So I bought one and I just started this like little riff and literally wrote the song in kind of one flow take. But it's about your death of ego, so about killing that person who thinks that they're all that, this and that, and going straight back to just to start just a normal person with your feet on the ground, chilling the fuck out. Thank you. 
I put a video online and it was like this really shit little iPhone 4 recording originally. And it was just me jamming in the room. Like I hadn't even completely written the song yet. It was literally like a live jam and it just went nuts. So I properly recorded it and all of that, put better versions up online. And it's just still like, it's probably been about a year and a half since that happened. And that, that I would say that the stage now is literally the beginning of what that has done. It's just opened doors. I don't know, when you write a little jam in your bedroom, you don't think anything of it and then it just goes, whew. It's pretty fucking strange. <laughs>
I've been battling some pretty heavy shit lately and uh, if I didn't have my creative outlet and if I didn't know how to access that flow state, I just don't really know what would happen, to be honest. Shit gets a bit heavy sometimes and when you're kind of incorporating just general life and mental illness at the same time, which a lot of people have got, that's your whole perception on reality is distorted because you're not, you're just not well. Like you're ill, you're, you're sick, it's like, it's like telling someone with the flu, just just get up out of bed, like, you know, fucking stop, stop being like that and just do what you have to do. It's like, I don't feel like that at the moment, but for the last six months I've been battling some pretty heavy shit and it caused me to come home off my European tour twice. Like I was meant to go for three and a half months, almost four months, and I came home twice. And the second time I came home, I couldn't, I just, I just couldn't do it. Like I was just, I didn't understand what was even going on around me. Mm -hmm. I'd like made up this whole reality in my brain that was just not real. Just became completely detached and thought, you know, I need, I need to sort this shit out because the only thing that felt normal was getting on stage. So I'd get on the stage and for that hour and a half or two hours, I felt normal. But it all the time before and after that was just fucked. Thank you. Oh. So I played that song for the first time last night, so this makes it the second time. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty crazy and um, it got a little too crazy for me at one point. As you know, obviously a lot of you people follow me, that's probably why you're here. <laughs> but um, I had to come off my European tour because I just couldn't do it anymore and it was pretty fucked to be honest getting in that state of mind where you don't see the world for the beauty that it has in it. You kind of just, it's like someone's got a blindfold on you and they're asking you to see, you know, when you're stuck inside your mind, when you've been battling with your demons and stuff. And I was on the road, I've been on the road for two years now and um, I went on a tour to Europe for about three and a half months. I came home twice and the second time I came home I cancelled everything because I just couldn't do it. So, there are days that you can't do shit, and that's okay. That's all right. Sometimes you just need to cry, jump in the ocean, fucking scream, have a run, you know. But it's important that you voice that shit because the demons only live inside you if you feed them and you let them grow. So get that shit out of your fucking soul. And speak your truth, you know, because you're not really living until you're actually living in your truthful manner. And that took me a long time to realize that. Thank you. <laughs> so this song is about exactly that and uh, it works best when we're in the silence so if I could ask for like I think it's four minutes about four minutes of silence is that all cool is that all right? this song is called harvest your love
Yeah, my soul I twisted tangled in the new So in the good that we the bad I said, no, I know what's the use Cause I keep skipping stones Like a child with broken bones mm -hmm. And I bet your mother told you You gotta carry your bags back on we are But I didn't wanna So get to say things I don't really care about No, I didn't wanna be next to you I was feeling sorry for myself And I like my ex on this side up Is that a problem with you? I don't carry on living my life With the pessimistic blue And paint the sky with all Different colors of blue Different colors of blue ooh, 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 ooh. Pretty girl Why do we slow it down? Oh, we've been killing each other My soul was so damn evil oh. Can you tell me what is that song I heard it playing on the radio But I didn't wanna talk it to Say things I don't really care about No, I didn't wanna be nice to you Cause I was feeling sorry for myself And I like my ex on this side of Notion was about being heartbroken for the first time. And that's, I, I always play that song because I don't re-experience what I used to feel, but I acknowledge what I used to feel when I play the song now. And um, I kind of just like to see everyone get into it and they just like sway like this. And it's just nice to watch it. I've been writing some new shit. Hope you like it. And I'm gonna play some old shit. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, I'm just kind of like a, a really scruffy looking semi homeless person with a really big dream that uh, came true, which is really fucked, because that doesn't really happen too often, you know? But um, it's really special to be able to spread my tunes across the globe, and I just want to express my gratitude for everybody who shows their love, because it's, uh, it's what got me through the last couple of months of my life, so thank you. Cheers. I don't drink alcohol anymore, but I'll cheers you.
The song is called Notion.
to clap on the beat, okay? Yeah? The process of um, my, how I create music and playing live is just, I don't really have one. I just let it happen because I feel like when you get into that flow state of jamming and performing, that's how you're actually really saying what you want to say. Well, for me, it is. I don't write a set list. Sometimes I play way longer than I thought. Like last night I played for like just a bit over two hours. Without a break, I just, I don't know. Time just like went somewhere else. But yeah, I just get up, feel the crowd. Like if they're a bit more hyped, I'll probably give it a bit more hype. But if they're a bit more chilled, probably like slow it down a bit. And 
changing around. Sure, you don't even need weed. If you want to get high, man, buy a pan flute. They're 50 cents, fucking hell. <laughs> Ground control to major tongue. No, I'm not singing that, but I feel like that right now. See, uh, I don't do covers, that's the thing. I just, nah. But, however, I've only got one more song left to play. You might know it. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, do you, I'm going on Seth Meyers tomorrow, so I've got to get a little bit of a shut eye before I head in there. I'm going to shut off the night with a song that kind of kick-started this crazy fucking thing that's happened to me. Do the deep end, the 
like anything, you don't start off at the top and you're always getting better. So I'm not in a competition with anyone. I don't think I'm better than anyone. I don't think I'm the best at anything. I just do my thing and I learn shit from people all the time. You just keep your brain open and you can just, knowledge is key, like it's also free. So you just like take little bits everywhere and remember it. And then your field is kind of just like so open to go over there, over there, over there. It's all there, it's all in front of you. You just have to take it. I actually wasn't going to play another song just then, but... Um, but then I thought, you're just all so lovely, so I kind of have to. Gonna have the 12 string, please. Seeing as it's an encore, I know I wasn't going to do it. Um, I'm going to make it really happen, if that's all right. Just give it a bit more love. Thank you very much. This is actually the last song now, so. <laughs>
you very much.